What's up, Scar and I bringing you Pokemon Prism Nuzlocke Part 23. In the last part, we got our big climactic uh, storyline climaxing and uh, a part that you're going to have to see. I don't want to reveal everything, but um, there was a couple things I wanted to talk about because uh, editing the last episode was kind of unique because I literally, in the same minute, uh, walked over I was like oh I shouldn't spoil things uh, well I don't know if I or what was it that I said I forget um cuz like I was like oh I shouldn't use my phone or, or no 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 this is what I said I said uh, uh, you know I was looking through my phone for the guide and then I went to the Poggy Mart and I see the QR scanner I'm all like oh, well I shouldn't use my phone for that or something like that but you kind of know what I mean what I say by that like I'm only making sure of the guide just so I could stay on track over the Nuzlocke, just so I could, you know, cautiously look ahead. And if the gym leader's levels are a little bit too high for me, then that's the point where I should grind. Um, for the QR scanner thing, I should stay away from the phone because up until I have it, I would, I kind of see it as a key to the gateway. I don't want to just uh, already know where the key is and know how to open the gate before I have it, it, it in that type of sense. Um, and uh, I also do want to clarify about like the little spoilery thing is because like yes it is kind of like I think I need to think my words more carefully when I say this um, because yeah in, in storylines and movies there's always like you know something that the viewer that doesn't know that the main character does know you know but um, I, I'm not, and I'm not saying like, oh, I should know in advance at all times when it comes to storyline, um, something that would become a major thing. But it, it, to me, what I'm saying is, it doesn't seem like it was major enough because, like, the character is like, yeah, you know, you know, that's just, I already knew this. I, I don't know, and he's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Instead of, uh, I don't know, something about it, it didn't really makes sense and there's something else I want to mention the last thing I'm gonna mention before I introduce the Pokemon I'm sorry for taking a long time for the intro but um, you know the when I went to Laurel Forest I actually um, I kind of set myself and put myself in a corner where I'm all like oh shoot now I have to record footage of me doing the other things in Laurel Forest and when I did that there are some interesting things because there was like the whole Pikachu side quest thing and the whole Charizard thing. So I'm gonna little show like a little snippet. I'm gonna put myself in the corner again and have to edit it in advance. But all right, you remember way back then when we had a uh, Yanma going up against a Charizard just for example's sake, and he just used the move Lewisite that we'd never seen before. But now we know that it's a gas move unless I never explained it I'm not really sure either way it's a level 65 Charizard who not only has Lewis sight has air slash and flare blitz and uh, I believe also crunch that you'll see in a moment there's no way anybody would survive this like you would have to have priority accuracy dropping move which does not exist in order to be lucky but other than that wow another Pikachu you want to go on an adventure with me pretty much what he says I didn't read it quote for quote word for word but oh, I was really looking forward to it if you were to say no to it but if you were to say yes to it you would go on adventures to find berries instead of looking for burnt berries like a weird Pikachu that he is because he is a weird Pikachu nonetheless but these are his moves set take note of that Either way, um, this is him going in battle. Again, keep note of this. Tail Whip, Quick Attack, Double Team, and Spark. Level 20, and uh, I think it's level changes too, actually, now that I think about it. But, you know, it says, uh, picked up a berry. 
And he'll have like a little cry. The berry looks delicious, but I think we could do better. Let's go look for more. And then like, forget the berries, look at that root. Let me gnaw on it for a few seconds. Gnaw, gnaw, gnaw. Okay, I'm good. Thanks for taking me here. I'm afraid to leave my beach alone. Here's a Kuro shard. And yeah, I already took the berry from this, so that's why he says that. Oh, hello there. Uh, it seems like I'm pretty hungry. Will you go on and get me something tasty to eat? Also, I only eat burnt berries. No. Okay, that's it! You wanna fight? We'll fight! And, uh, yeah, and then just notice how drastically different this freaking Pikachu is. Level 22. He was level 20, or she, sorry. And she has other moves. Signal Beam being one of them. I don't think I have footage of Thunderbolt. It's somewhere that I didn't really dig enough for. Surf? Where was Tail Whipping and Growl and, and Spark? No, it's it's all these other moves. Um, but either way, I kill it, and this is what it says. And this Pikachu just all at once to go in a bar fight. Okay, 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 sorry. You don't have to get me anything. For going easy on me, here's a Kuro Shard. You know, and that's the alternative that you could do. And uh, if uh, you lose, it just whites out. That's pretty much it. So, yeah. Yeah, you see that uh, Pikachu has Thunderbolt, Surf, he has Double Team, he has Signal Beam for some reason. And I'm not sure why, but when he's in your team, all of a sudden he has like tackle, growl, uh, spark. Like where, where's, where's Surf and Thunderbolt when I, he was with me? All of a sudden, I say no to him. He's like, oh, oh, you want to fight? Oh, okay. And then he just suddenly learns better moves than when he was, you know, more so against me rather than with me. But uh, nonetheless. Yeah, and then of course Charizard having like Lewis Sight, Air Slash, Flare Blitz, and I forgot the last move, but um, pretty pretty strong moves. Either way, let's go introduce the Pokemon. Of course, we got pretty much all level 37s. Arlo, the Jungle Boy, the Meganium, the Grass type Pokemon, of course, holding the Confused Guard, Spring Buds, Tackle, Rock Smash, and Poison Powder. With uh, Defense being the highest, Special Defense being the second highest, Man at the Night, Spurs City at level 10, likes to fight, he is a fighter with the Overgrow ability. Of course, of course, of course. And Scar, the truest knight, the Typhlosion, the fire type Pokemon, of course, my favorite mod of all time, holding the Lucky Egg with Flame Wheel, Double Kick, Will O Wisp, and Cut. And he has Special Attack, growing more and more stronger every day with speed being the second highest, and I uh, met during the day in Oxala City at level 10, strong wield with the Blaze ability. Bale! I'm Batman. I'm Batman! The Crobat, poison flying type, holding the poison bar with bite, fly, sludge bomb, and razor leaf, with speed being the highest, and attack being the second highest. Okay, that took me a while. Met at night in Mount Cave at level 8, so much stubborn with the inner focus ability. By the way, Mount Cave was the cave I was thinking of, and I kept looking at it every episode, and not even remember the name, dude, but now I do. Magnus, the magnificent one, the pupitar, the rock ground type, of course, with hardstone, bite, rock throw, mud slap, and dig, with attack being the highest, and the fence being the second highest. Met during the day in Aqua Mines at level 5. Quick temper with the shed skin ability. Now we got Riptide, the Fraligator with water type Pokemon with the Mystic Water, Water Gun, Aqua Jet Bite, and Slash. And we also have uh, Attack being the highest, Defense being the second highest. Met the Night Laurel City at level 15. Quick temper with the Torrent ability. And uh, yeah, as you see, I didn't train a single Mon. And I didn't put any other Pokemon. Like, I looked at the PC after the episode, and uh, the only type matchup that we don't have um, from my PC, that is, is, you know, Machop is the only one that has a type that we don't have. But I don't know if I want to use Machop, so I'm not going to do that yet. And I know I said I was going to, you know, go to um, 
train or like you know if the gym leaders are high enough but I think I can handle it yet again I'm only worried about one thing and one thing only so hopefully we can handle it hopefully we can handle it there is one thing that I wasn't sure about but like I said I looked ahead and uh, that is this place for her we could actually go there because I was worried that there was trainers or story that would take up most of the time but uh, actually we could go through here without a problem and I suggest that you would too because if you remember Nobu uh, actually told us to go over here and talk to one of his friends and there's this guy right here hello young one Nobu sent you hmm have I seen the Naljo Guardian Varanius yes I did I'm in charge of this lighthouse and I see all Varanius went to Saxifrage the prison island in the southeast it looks like it's going to awaken Fambako who's been sleeping there for centuries hmm it looks like you need help getting there this HM should be a help to you we got HMO3 which is actually surf HMO3 is surf it's a move that lets Pokemon swim across the water and uh, we can't use it until we have a gym badge but we could use it as a move instead which is why I want to do this now rather than later because I got water gun for Riptide and I'd rather have Surf even though special attack isn't the highest but he's the only man to use it so I'm gonna do it I am going to do it today alright so I'm gonna take out water gun and then boom we got ourselves Surf alright um, honestly I don't know who to switch into when it comes to the gym because like I said we're doing the gym in this episode unless I didn't say that then by means um, then now you know so there is this girl right here that I wanted to talk about this was a decent place to live in until the gym leader showed up she uses gas type Pokemon and the foul order is unpleasant oh, okay all right so uh I don't know who to lead with is the thing because we got the lucky egg uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna swap it with someone uh, I don't know if I want scar to have it first I think I'm gonna give it to riptide and I you got the mystic water but I, I'm gonna give you something else I don't want to give you the mystic water it makes no sense dude like that makes no sense I mean, it doesn't make sense either to give them black glasses, but I'm gonna do it, dang it. I'm gonna do it. Alright, and uh, I should probably leave with them. That's probably for the best. But yeah, level 37's all around the board. Let's do it. This gym leader's name is Ayaka. She specializes in guest types. Do refrain from breathing too much in here. Hey, I could tell, dude. You're barely talking right man you're barely talking right man and there's this guy um, I guess he doesn't want to interact but there's these things right here and that's the only way we could pass are these stains on the ground or no these are cracked floors never mind uh, oh yeah let's battle why not alright so let's go talk about the gas type Pokemon with super Super nerd Jonas, good old Venomoth right here. So I probably should have led with a good old Typhlosion. Um, Venomoth isn't a gas type, to my knowledge, because well, the thing is, he's, he's just bug poison. But there is other Pokemon that are gas type in this place, and you have Spring Buds, you try to, I mean, I already know you have like Giga Drain, but that's not what went through my brain space, I just want to kill you once and for all, because that's what I want to do, that's what I want to do, you live that, are you serious, uh, if you poison me though, one of these mons is going to poison me, That's it for Venomoth. 
Did that double experience for me too? I never am sure, honestly. Um, I have to watch out for most of these mons though, honestly. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna just serve. Let's try it out. It should be good now. I love that. Steel Eater. I still don't know what that move is. Is it just gas or poison or... Oh, I took that so well. I took that so well. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter much. And I should be careful because my Typhlosion is... Even though he's strong against these things... Uh... He's also weak against the gas type. So I really, really should be careful. Um, I always get this mixed up. I think... I think... Especially they're weak. And Weezing is more physical and then Mux is the specially defensive one. But he's lacking in physicality. Something like that. I always get that mixed up. Alright, let's try it again. I'm just worried about like wheezing with the explosion is all 1999 did I see that right uh hydro pump wow now you learned the good move uh no it's okay I would have kept surf anyway because hydro pump only has like five and I don't like the fact that it has five yeah I'll stop learning it I'll stop learning it dude Nice one! Oh, wait, no. Nice one. Cause he's all messed up with the fumes and stuff like that. You know that gas block in your way? That problem just got blown away. Just like a bag in the wind. I'm going to <coughs> keep training. Alright, you do that, man. You, you do the most with that training of yours. Who should I uh, train next? I think I'm about to train up... I wanna train up... Yeah, let's, let's swap back with these items. Let's just put Typhlosion on there. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do about... Um, wait, 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 Mystic Water. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the freaking uh... The gym leader, like, there's there's still that one thing I'm, I'm really worried about. But there is something I wanted to mention and I, and I wasn't able to. I'm just a little bit distracted. Okay, let's just go with some burgers. It's a little bit distracted because I'm trying to set something up on my phone. It's not letting me, but I'll just stop doing it. My Wi-Fi has been acting weird this whole day, and it's so annoying, and I don't understand why. Alright, but we're gonna switch out, like I said, like the whole gas and fire type thing. They're pretty much effective against each other, it's just like ghosts and dragon, stuff like that. Uh, I'm, <coughs> I'm all ready to battle since I <coughs> do or whatever. What is wrong with these people, man? Don't they know smoking is bad? Don't they know smoking is bad for you, Camry? If that's even your name, man? Alright, so I know about this Toracle because, like, in the guide, it's a, it specifically says that this man explodes. So I am not fooling around, cause that's, I've been, you know, it, honestly in the beginning of the series I have not looked at the guide, but ever since I tried to look up on the gold tokens, like I, I definitely looked through it, and uh, yeah, it's something to behold, like they say which Pokemon will self-destruct, and there you go. I'm so glad that missed, and even if it did hit me, it would have not hit me! Oh, flamethrower, finally! 
finally, finally, finally. That's so good. Because now I could have a special move instead of a good old physical move. And get some flamethrower action. Torkoal again. You know what, I'll just stay in, it's fine. I, he'll swap into a dig. It works differently, it's not like, uh... I, I forget if it was 4th gen or 5th gen. It might just be 4th gen and onward. That they made the change where you can't just switch in an opponent where the move's already ready to go, like if it was Razor Wind or Fly or whatever. I'm gonna dig again, because I'm sure this guy has Explosion too. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, my phone legitimately doesn't want to load. I was going to talk about like the weak types of, of gas type, and I wanted to get it accurately because I still don't know. Alright, I should take this though. Come on, take the self-destruct. Oh man, that did a lot of damage actually. Get some flex tape ready going for us. See, if I would have known in advance because I feel like in-game is not... 100% obvious? It's an Arya dose. You know that's bug poison. He's not, he's not no freaking gas type. He probably has gas moves. He ain't no gas type though. You better die, my flamethrower. Ha <laughs> ha. But, uh, yeah. Uh, when it comes to gas type, they're actually weak against grass type Pokemon. Could you believe that? And the thing is, grass resists gas. Grass resists gas. <laughs> I feel like that should be the title of the video, but of course, you know, it's gonna be the gym leader. Ugh. You okay? Oh my god, I need to call the cops. Or the ambulance or something. I'll clear the gas because I'm supposed to. Because the leader told me to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. I'm sleepy. Alright, and then the next person is the gym leader, so I'll be Rob Bike. I'll be standing right next to her. And, uh, yeah, going to the Pokemon Center, so BRB. Alright, I'm back, and I don't know how I'm gonna go about this. I have to go look through my Pokemon because it's, it's pretty interesting. Because. I'm pretty sure. I think the answer is because Bale also has Razor Leaf. It's something that I always, always forget. Oh, what am I doing? That's not what I wanted to do. I literally just said. God damn it. Switch. switch. Wait, no. You have the. Oh my god, I'm doing everything bad. Stop. I'm, I'm like. I mean, it doesn't matter what I give to you because you don't even. Yeah, you, you have the heart stone. I don't have charcoal, that's why. I think the answer is because I got Razor Leaf on Crobat. Gas types are weak to that stuff. And I also resist... Well, I may not resist gas type moves, but I can resist anything it'll throw at me. Even though Bale technically is a glass cannon in a way. Well, not really so much the cannon part. He's not like highly offensive. But he is surprisingly defensive sometimes. But uh, Arlo will be in the back for when I need Arlo. And uh, for other mons, I'm not even sure. I, I just need to really hit home. I'm just worried about one mon and one mon only. But let's do it. Someone's here. I'm like trying to rub my eyes towards the mic so you can hear it. I don't know if you can. Okay, I see. You're a knight wielding a shovel? No, you're just a trainer out to get my gym badge. How boring. Why do you yawn weird? Well, according to my very demanding schedule, I have a time for a battle, so sure. Okay. I am a Yaka and I use gas Pokemon. Okay, let's get this over with already. And there she is, just smoking and just being the bee's knees, I guess. Leader Ayaka wants a battle. 
I'm a bit worried on this match, but I should be fine. We're pretty on par with everything. The ace is actually level 41. Alright, and Haunter is Ghost Gas type, so there is that because it is ghastly and then is Haunter, so we should be fine. If it crits, that'd be better. We're just one level over this guy. Ah, oh, Hypnosis, you little punk. You little punk. You little, 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 little. Alright, we took out Haunter no problem. I thought he was gonna hit me back or something, but he tried to put me to sleep. Torkoal, yikes. I don't know if this guy has explosion. I don't think it said anything. Uh... Um, I don't think he'll live. I, I'll just go to Magnus, because I was thinking maybe Riptide. Yes, I could do something about that, but I don't know. See, Tarkoal's a fire gas type too, so Razor Leaf would actually be neutral in a weird way. <sighs> He's gonna do a lot more damage is the only problem. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig, hopefully he self-destructs or something stupid. You try to smoke screen me? You're that type of guy? You jerk? Aw. Uh, oh, flamethrower. Okay, well, it's checkmate either way because as long as I just dig, whether he explodes or just does any other move, I got him in the next turn, so it's fine. I could have just um, finished him off here, but I just. I don't know. I, I don't. Mudslap doesn't hit hard enough, I feel. Torkoal's pretty defensive. Oh, shoot. This is the problem. Drapion. Who do I use against you? Let's go with Riptide for this one. See, the thing about Drapion, even though this is a gas type gym, and there may be some, you know, gas type trainers that doesn't have gas type Pokemon. The gym leader, the ace right here, is not gas type. He is poison dark type. Which is interesting because, you know, Scorupi begins being bug poison and then he... Or no, poison bug and then poison dark. So it's interesting that they put that. Um... Let's go with Slash. I might have to switch eventually though. Drapion's a problem because I know for a fact, like when I, I actually saw a video on someone battling this person yesterday, and I saw that Drapion had a Earthquake. So it's another reason why, well Typhlosion wouldn't be a good matchup anyway because you would have uh, a gas move anyway, and fire wouldn't really do much um, against you. Um, let's go with the burger. Let's just go with one to see if we can handle anything else it throws at us. Maybe Crobat wouldn't be a bad matchup. Oh, I got poisoned. I might do one more move and then switch. I think that's the best thing to do. If it crits me, that's the worst case scenario. But then again, that's kind of common sense. I didn't do as much. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna go to Bale. It hasn't used Earthquake yet, but to be fair, the video I watched was kind of more of a early, um, early copy of Prism. Not really early copy, but you know, you know, a little bit more back on the beta. Um, I think I just need a fly. I'm sure I could take it out, Night Slash. It should take it out with this. This should be close. Alright, cool. Alright, I was worried about that Pokemon because it would hit so freaking hard. Alright, Ayaka is going to get out of Weezing. Alright. This one I could definitely handle. Oh, well, maybe not. That's poison gas. Let's just go with it. I'm gonna go send on Meganium. It might be a mistake, but I don't think it'll hit hard enough to kill Arlo from full. 
I should be able to outspeed it and kill it by two shots, I think. That... Oh, right. Poison... Oh, there you go! It's seeded! You saw that? It did do it. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. You see that? <laughs> oh, glorious. I'm at a... Do I have Petcha? Where's Petcha? Where's Petcha? I thought I had Petcha. I have Antidote, but I don't have Petcha. Damn it! Why can't I heal my poison? Oh, wait, no. I uh, just use the Antidote, I guess. Do I really just have one? I'm gonna have to use it, man. Riptide's also... Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't even think about that. If I win this battle, I have to... God dang it! It's fine, I'll live whatever. I'll, I'll just do one more. I can't believe I'm neutral on it. No duh, I didn't think about... Oh, I resist this. Why are you using this move? You should... I... Don't you have Sludge Bomb? I was gonna say I know you have Sludge Bomb, but that's every typical wheezing. But for some reason, you don't. I just, I just win this match. Alright, cool. I was a bit concerned on that matchup, honestly. But I had it all under control, it seems. I just need to remember after this match to heal my Pokemon. But that's it for Leader Ayaka. <laughs> well, that was different. Eh. Oh, fine, here is your... Wait. What's the batch name again? Haze? Who came up with that stupid name? Me? Oh, okay then. Yeah, man. Or girl. Take this TM2. It's TM92. But yeah, we ended up getting the Haze badge. This TM is called Mustard Gas. It, uh... My brain hurts. You figure it out. Oh, come on. You're, you're requiring me to read. Like, that... is disgraceful. An attack that may inflict a burn. That's pretty good. I have no idea who to give it, but it's viable with a lot of Pokemon. So it's actually pretty decently good, honestly. I just... It's strong against fire types, which I don't need for Riptide and Magnus. I almost completely forgot your poison. So maybe Bale's a good option to have Mustard Gas, because being burnt would be really good if I'm in a bad matchup. I just don't know what to replace with, because you have Bite, Fly, Sludge Bomb, and Razor Leaf, and Razor Leaf is really good. Because it will take out rock, ground, and water if I'm in that situation. Bite kills psychics. And... I'm blanking so hard. Is it just psychics that dark kills? I thought it kills something else. Well, I'm blanking pretty badly. Maybe I should... No, and ghost. Okay. Yeah, let's teach it. No, but mustard gas is... Special. No, never mind. I can't. Yeah, I can't do it. Hang on. No, yeah. It won't hit hard enough. I'm assuming it's it's special because Weezing used it. Alright, before anything, I gotta heal. I, I just have to heal. That's the first thing I gotta do. Antidote. Because I could just easily just, you know, heal him up, but... Oh, right. Meganium's poison. That's the whole reason I saved it. I have one more thing to heal, but that's fine. Great, you managed to defeat her. But sadly, the horrible scent of this gym remains. I forgot to give him a wheezing uh, sound, but that's okay. I should live. So let's go to the Pokemon Center. And do this might. And do this might. There's a couple Pokemon now that we could get now that we have Surf. And I just want to go check on some Pokemon, like, we could... We could get a couple of Mons. A couple of them. Uh, let's see, let's go to the Pokemart first. I want to buy just a little bit more supplies and check to see if we can. We got pretty decent amount of money, actually. Uh, let's get, like, five antidotes so we don't have that problem. Did that really say $100? What? 
hundred dollars for antidotes? I know in the regular games it was like, I don't know, we could get five full heals. Uh, let's see. We need revives just in case we lose the Nuzlocke. No, I'm kidding. Uh, maybe a few super potions, like ten. And uh, how many Pokeballs do we have? That's decent amount. Anything worth selling over here? Spell tag, escape rope. Uh, I might need that though. I need to use the calcium, and I'm gonna save that elixir. Metal code, damp rock. I'm not gonna use the damp rock, so I'm gonna sell this. I wanna save my rest of the money just in case I wanna like go back to. Uh, I don't think I saw paralyzed seals. I, 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 pretty sure. Oh, there was none. That's why. I have cherry berries and stuff, but I don't know. I'll buy a couple of ultra balls. Just like 10. Oh, I could only afford five? What? Ah, oh, that sucks. Ah, no, it's fine. Then. I, I won't buy any Pokeballs. I have like five, uh, seven thousand dollars. I don't want to do that, man. Okay, first things first, even though I could just go on this route and look for a Pokemon, I want to go check over her at Route 81 because. Where was that freaking place? They said that there was supposed to be something avail- Oh, it's right here. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Hi! I'm the fishing guru. Um, well, I'm related to him somehow. Anyway, I have a good rod called Good Rod for you. Enjoy! And we got ourselves a good rod. Which, I was wondering where the heck it was, and now I found it. But, there's no really need for that anymore. But nonetheless, let's go to Route 80 and uh, use the good rod. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's rod down her. Wait, no, no, no. I'll, I'll just, I'll just surf. I don't know what I'm thinking. We can now surf. So let's just do that with my cool animation. Uh, who is this supposed to be? I know in previous uh, updates. There was a uh, Whalmer, I think. So I don't know. It should be our first encounter, though. We ended up getting a Feebas. I don't know if that's extreme luck or. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna say dupes. I'm gonna say dupes. Just for the reason that I wanna get another Pokemon. I don't feel right catching this and replacing Sakura. Like, Sakura is our first Feebas. And I don't feel okay just just doing that. It's like, well, it's higher leveled. All right, this is the first time we see a Tentacruel, though. Like I said, Tentacruel is a Pokemon that people sleep on. It should live a Razor Leaf, though. Even though its defense is a little bit low, it should be able to, you know, be fine with it. You should have used Barrier to begin with, but I guess I am faster. Great ball. So that's one Moncot, and we still got the Providential Park, but we'll do that some other episode to maybe get a shiny Pokemon if we're lucky. But that's the only shiny Mon I'm gonna get, I'm not gonna abuse it and keep on going to the shiny Pokemon thing. As it floats along on the waves, it uses toxic feelers to uh, stab anything it touches. Uh, I'll call it, well you're a female one. <laughs> Um, I have no idea. What did I call you before? I'll just be boring and call you Aqua. Uh, where's the queue? There it is. Aqua. I may turn it in, I may not, I don't know. Like, I, when I looked at the PC, I started realizing that I'm lacking in Pokemon. And that's not good, because I'm willy-nilly donating them just to get another Mon, you know? It may not be the smartest move. Alright, let's go back to Akania Docks. I know I could've just stayed here and then looked for something, but... Just wanted to make sure. Ah, uh, not here. Let's go, uh, uh her. Uh, yeah, let's just go here. It's fine. We'll go back and forth in this spot. Get ourselves another Mon. 
for a Canyon Dock. Relicav! Your gang donated, sir! Yeah, definitely can't raise the few for sure. You could definitely live a bite, though. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Rest. Quick, throw a Pokeball! No, it's full health, hang on. I don't know if the sleep turns work the same as in 6th gen, because there's a bunch of 6th gen mechanics, and I'm not 100% sure. It's perfect anyway, I could throw... Relicamp's a bit tricky to catch. Let's just try a Pokeball anyway. One. Oh. Don't wake up. Don't you wake up on me, sir. Alright, please don't, uh, heal. Please stay caught, Relicamp. Why? Why? Explain. Mudslap. You're not very smart, Relicamp. I have to use a Great Ball, don't I? No, I don't! Oh, nice! I, was, I figured that if I stay quiet, it would, uh... It would rest in peace. Well, not like that. It's not like it's dead. Relicamp the longevity. 3 foot 3, 51.6 pounds. Discovered by chance during deep sea explorations. It has not changed since ancient times. Which is interesting because that implies that all other Pokemon had their own natural form of evolution to change its look. Which is interesting. Uh... I'll just call you, I'm thinking Grandpa, like Gram or Gran, so I'll call you Grant, how about that? Grant, I don't know. Alright, there's actually a route over here to the right, so let's go a little bit to Route 68, just a little bit. Hopefully I remember that I caught a Pokemon here. Or, you know, if I ended up doing it or not. There may not be other Pokemon. I think when I looked at the place, there's like a few that I could get. You know, I mentioned that there was like a Surskit that I was trying to get before. So, I don't know, man. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do for the next couple episodes. Because now that we got Surf, the whole world is open now. So, I, I'm really not sure. But, yeah, it's another Dupes Clause we already saw that we got kind of cool we'll try like three more times if there is just tentacles I guess that's where we're catching and then we're definitely gonna donate you so that's another dupes clause it's gonna be a pain to edit when I get to editing you know I think tomorrow I'm gonna edit this it's gonna be a pain in my bahookie well, not really. It's not like there's too much. At least the Pokemon didn't die. Then I would have to edit a little bit further. Alright, one more Pokemon. If it's a tentacle, then... Then we're just gonna have to catch it. I guess we could good, Rod. We could try that. That'd be kind of good. I guess we really did luck out and get a Feebas. That was lucky. Hmm. Huh. Huh? That's tentacle. Yeah, let's just good rod then. Let's just good rod then. We're gonna good rod right here where we're standing. And watch it be the same exact tentacle. What do you mean? I'm, I'm, I can't fish surfing? Like, I could swear I saw, like, Pokemon pictures with the guy fishing on Lapras's back or something. I'm sure. It sounds familiar. Wasn't it like an intro? You gotta be joking. It's just tentacles. It's just tentacles. That's all I ex exist out here. It's all tentacles. I didn't think this episode was gonna be 40 minutes, but it ended up being that way. I apologize. I apologize. Alright, if it's a tentacle again, I'm just gonna catch it. No, 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 two more tries, actually. Two more tries. And then I'm gonna go to the other side. That species. Oh, it's level 20, though. I'm all, I literally saw, like, a level 
25 or 30, I don't remember. And it's level 20? Isn't that like a cheating tentacle? I don't think it evolves that early. I really don't. Like, he learns. I had a tentacle before in Emerald when I was like doing a Nuzlocke run of that. I don't. I, I never finished that. It's not like I lost, but I don't know. Since the whole YouTube thing, I'm glad I, uh, you know, made it official because that's the only way I could really focus and be serious on, like, being successful in a Nuzlocke. Alright, one more, and, and then I'll, I'll just, you know, catch whatever it is and donate them to a loving family. Or a child or something. I don't know. Some some kid is gonna love this Pokemon. Whatever it is. If it decides to show up, thank you. Whatever this Pokemon is, I'll just catch it. It don't matter. It's a Magikarp. Uh Nope nope no. Nope. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't disrespect them like that. He's already free at home, okay? I can't do it. I can't do it? No. Nope first magic up that we've seen though the next Pokemon how about this all right the tentacle has to be I guess they just uh, yeah they come in at level 20 <sighs> um it should oh wait no that's a mistake I just wasted all that time just to kill him oh no I lived wow All right, cool. Uh, you get a great ball, sir, or ma'am. Sorry. All right. Um, I'll call you when it's eighty fee feelers. When it's eighty feelers, absorb water. It stretches to. Become like a net to entangle its prey. It's five foot three, 121 pounds. That's kind of gross. That's five foot three. I feel like Tentacruel is a little bit bigger than that. Like it's not like the Charizard thing, like I mentioned. That I feel like Charizard should be seven feet tall. I don't know. Like there's should there's trainers out here that's taller than five foot three. Yeah. Like that. It, it, there's no way that they're shorter. I'll just call you Agua. All right, now next to the other side. I don't know if this is the same route as Terrania's City, but it should be the same route, Route 82. We didn't do anything about this either. I'm pretty sure it's the same Pokemon though. I, I caught a Goldeen, yeah? I, I'm pretty sure I called it Fall Autumn. This is Species. I probably should catch it though, because it's level 33 and that's gonna give me a, like a lot of points. I'm almost certain that I got Fall Autumn. Yeah, I got a Goldeen. I think I might just catch this. Ah, oh, no, it's level 31. I don't know, I haven't decided yet anyway. Like, what? where's the... I thought there was other Pokemon. Why are they getting worse in level as soon as I'm all like, oh, maybe? Oh, come on, man. I haven't even seen the two Pokemon I was talking about. Like, what happened to them? Just They just don't exist now, or what the heck? Okay, now well, you're, you're trolling with me. There's nobody here now. It's a fee bass again. Level 32. Not bad, not bad, but it's also dupes. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a metric button of that. It's like a plant right there. Whoa, there it is! Chincha, that's the Pokemon I was talking about. Because I saw them, like, besides Surskit, we haven't seen this thing. This is our encounter. Uh, I could live with Thundershock 
but I let's see if he can live this. All right, cool. Guess who it is? Yeah. I caught a Chencha before, but I didn't get to use him. Maybe I might be able to use him, but I don't know. Because we already got Fraligator, and it'll be kind of weird using two water types. I mean, they're very different water types, so it may not even be a bad idea. But I don't know. I'm not sure. It's Antenna, uh, which evolved from a fin, have both positive and negative charges flowing through them. It's an angler Pokemon, 1 foot 8, 26 pounds. <sighs> if you already know me, you know the name. You know, that's, okay. It is Baby Beluga. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if there's a trainer out here, I'm gonna just not go over here. It's a seeking again. Oh, snap, dupes claws. No, I'm kidding. There's a cave here, though. We'll explore on these uh, locations eventually. I am kind of curious though on um, where it is. Uh, what route is this again? Where, where am I? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'll go in the cave. Maybe this is a new encounter actually. I'm so confused. Okay, please don't tell me there's a trainer here, though. Oh, you punk. Okay, this is... I have to make sure. So what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna fly over to Terrania City. It probably is the same route, I just don't know it. I'm just making sure. I don't know why I'm wasting my time on it, but... I forget, was it Route 62? Is that what it was? 82? Was it really? Because we never got a Pokemon here. I didn't want to fish. If we go to the Pokemon Center. Uh... Yeah, Route 82. Alright, it is the same Pokemon. See, I wish it was the daytime, but it's been stuck at night for no reason, and I don't know why. We'll get one more Pokemon, and then we may call it an episode for today. We may call it an episode for today. Hopefully, uh, no Pokemon will, uh, interfere. Actually, is it just up here? Because there's the grass up here. That's where I'm trying to get to. Uh... I may have to waste a repel just to get up there though, because I don't want to get a water Pokemon on my way up. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have to waste this though. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where, where's the repels at? One super repel, it's 200 steps? Oh my god. Let's do it. There's the grass. Is there anything further? Okay, that's it. It's just an invisible wall. Alright. We're gonna have to do this. I'm kinda almost tempted to do an hour special because it's already practically 50 minutes, so I don't know. Just to make sure on Providential Park. Yeah, it might as well be an hour special, because, uh, like, I still want to donate some mons. There it is. No, it's okay. Alright, our first encounter for Heath Village, because we never got a Pokemon here, don't you know, is a Tangela. Alright, cool. I don't mind Tangela. Uh, how am I gonna... I think Razor Leaf. It'll resist it, and it'll live quite easily. Oh, that did no damage, actually. It may live a bite. It may live a bite. Let's try bite. Because Tangelas are surprisingly... 
surprisingly strong. So let's just go with the Pokeball here. And I do have a name for Tangela's. Come on, man. It fled! Oh, it weighs nah. All right, let's see what's in the water. Let's let's make Scar Knight a sad night. What, what's in the water here? I mean, there was a uh, Surskit here, I'm sure. That would have been tentacle anyway. It's like level 11. Why is it level 11? I don't have Surf till this point in the game. Why would it be level 11? What is this house? What? Hello? You are quite the young swimmer. I have already used this item on all of my ghost Pokemon. Let me pass it down to you. Interesting. What is this? I'm looking at the wrong thing. What team was that? Team... It wasn't Dark Pulse, was it? Dream Eater? No. Shadow Ball, that's what it was. Oh. You're the only one able to. God dang it. TM30 is Shadow Ball. I guess I could have asked her. It's powerful ghost attack that can even lower your foe's special defense. Yeah. Alright, Shadow Ball is good. Shadow Ball is nice. Alright, let's just go uh, fly over. I have Agua on my team. What? Okay, I didn't. That's not gonna be um, part of the layout. Or else I would have turned it in. Actually, none of these Pokemon coming up are going to be part of the layup. But I'm going to go donate some Mons. I really shouldn't anymore because I'm really lacking in any. If any Pokemon dies, it's going to be severing to me. Like, really severing. Imagine if four of my Mons died now and I have one more left. Like, how would I assemble my team? These are all the Mons. I might have donated them. I like the Gold Dane, I'm sure. Uh, I'm gonna keep these guys right here, though. I think I'm gonna donate Ursa. You have an item? What do you... What? Huh? Okay, well, first off, let me deposit... Uh, I'm gonna keep Magnus on the team for now. Actually, no, I'll, I'll keep Arlo, because he's already... You know, I don't wanna... Desert him in the adoption home. You might run off or something. Alright, so let's go with draw. Keeping baby beluga. I'm gonna turn in aqua. Because, like, I, I, I do kind of feel bad if I just turn in aqua. I'm definitely turning you in. Keeping you. I don't know about you, though. What do you have? What are you holding? A brick piece? Yeah, bullet punch. I don't know. I'm so I'm I'm like so conflicted with that. Should I turn her in? <sighs> How many Pokemon do I have at this point? I didn't even keep count. F four. Huh. I'm just gonna turn Aqua in, honestly. All right. No, it is here. Okay, we could do that. Alright, so let's go turn in a Pokemon. Let's start with you. Are you sure you want to donate Tentacruel? Yeah. Thank you, here's your for your donation. 60 points. Alright. I would probably have more points if the fact that I could, uh, you know turn in my dead mons but I don't want to do that because I feel like that's a bit of a stretch for the rules just to get a new mon I don't know 191 I think I need 250 yeah I don't remember uh it's turning grant let's just make it gradually go up in level thank you for your donation I have 64 points on your card all right so now we got like 250. No, we have to get a thousand points. Wasn't that it actually? All right, let's turn in Tentacool. 
37? What? What? I... Come on. You cannot be serious. I got like 280 points. Oh. Oh, snap. I could get it. Oh, it's so dope. Wait. Wait. I got... I got enough points. 292. Oh. All right. That looks like it's gonna be it. Oh, snap. We're gonna get Eevee. And if you like this episode, don't forget to press that like button. But if you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. If you consider subscribing yet, please watch another one of my videos. If you like playing video games, you might like my stuff. With that being said, we're gonna go adopt this Pokemon. Eevee, the evolution Pokemon. What f one foot, 14 pounds. Its ability to evolve into many forms allows it to adapt smoothly and perfectly to any environment. I think we found our next team member. And I'm gonna put a nickname, but I'm gonna blur it out because you won't see what it is. Because I want you guys to guess who I'm gonna evolve this Eevee into. And I'm gonna put the name just so you know. I kinda, I think I know what I'm gonna call it. So, uh, actually, I don't know. Maybe I'll just put something else on the screen. Something that's not completely obvious. But I'll show off the Pokemon in just a sec. Now I got 30 points again. And, uh, yeah, here's the stats so far. Tail Whip, Sing, Sand Attack, Quick Attack, and, uh, level 15. Met at the Night Spirit City, level 15, Sturdy Body with Runaway. And let's get our Pokemon back. So, White Tigers and Dragons to you. And after I turn in all the Pokemon... Actually, what am I? Did I say what I was gonna do in the next episode? In the next episode, we're gonna see about the whole surfing situation thing, cause I'm not still entirely sure what I'm gonna do. But my idea is we'll get far enough to get certain items, because there is optional paths to go through. I just don't know how far we could actually get, so it's gonna be interesting. And we may see what Eevee will evolve into in the next episode too. So White Tigers and Dragons see you, and you've been scarred by the night. I'm out. See you later, mate.